Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 10th, 2023. The character at the Ironclad and the mod for our Star Seal deck, craft a deck from 30 random cards. Control Chaos, start with Frozen Eye at the start of your turn, add 10 random cards to the Dom View Draw Pile. And Lethality, start each combat with plus 3 strength, and all enemies start each combat with plus 3 strength as well. Another Control Chaos run that should be interesting. I see Vorpal here with 1529, a really good score, and George with 1503, not far behind. Let's review the scores from yesterday. Um, so Bjorn did really well, 1318. Uh, Bjorn, if you uh, can let let me know in the comments what you did. Very impressive score. Um, Yavos got 13.02. Um, I think everyone, including Yavos, was not able to get this done in less than an hour. It was a very long run yesterday, uh, mostly because you started with so many defensive cards and takes forever to actually kill things. Yavos was able to get two collector bonuses, perfected two of the bosses, which I think helped a lot. But then keep in mind, perfecting one more boss would have put Yavos in 10th place. So there's definitely room for improvement in terms of the score. It was just very difficult to do that. Perfected five of the nine elites, uh, take, took the same path with wing boots as I did which means getting two extra or one extra elite on act two um and as a result only one extra elite on act three rather than the other way around and then also interestingly got the mummified hand relic which definitely would have helped a lot yesterday uh, and also was able to get i like shiny a few people were able to uh, to do that i was not close to being able to do that uh, then you have David here with 1293. You can check out David's marathon two and a half hour Twitch stream yesterday uh, to get this done. Was able to perfect five of the nine elites. Again, same path with wing boots as I did. Um, and then got two of the three bosses. That also helped with the score. Only ended up with the collector bonus on the leg sweep that everybody started off with. Then no familiar names in the top 40. Um, and then it's me here with 1137 tied with Chef in the Cloud. Um, so I did fine. I perfected four elites and only one boss. Only got one collector bonus. So nothing too impressive. Um, which means it's, uh, yeah, it's very impressive that I actually got 55th place given that I didn't perfect that much. Um, Chef in the Cloud uh, also got a very similar run. I was able to get the I like Shiny modifier and then um, also enjoyed the Ring of the Serpent, uh, which I think I rarely get to enjoy. So that was, that was a good change of pace. Uh, then you have Pelzer with 1128. Pelz perfected two bosses, uh, but unfortunately only two of the nine elites. I think I think that's why he's a little lower than me. Um, did not get the I like Shiny modifier, missed it by one relic, um, and then um, had no chance to perfect against the um, big attack of the champ champion. Um, all right, and then further down you had no familiar, familiar names here, and then Shadow here just missing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, when I was reviewing the score, Shadow was 80th, and then now it's 81st. So somebody played after the end of the day. So Shadow got uh, 1092. Um, it took forever, uh, as as I think it did for everybody. But Shadow was able to do it in less than one hour. Um, also, didn't go for Popper. Realized that it would have been very difficult to perfect things and gave up on Popper early on, which I probably should have done too after I noticed that it was hard to perfect things. And then also the magnetism helped a lot. Um, and then Milzan got 1055, just barely missing the 100. Uh, yeah, 103rd place here. Uh, Milzan got two collective bonuses, only perfected one boss. Uh, now, interestingly, Milzan pointed out that curses was possible. Milzan saw the Mind Bloom event and also had other curses here and there. Unfortunately, Milzan took the Omamori relic, which means that um, he wasn't able to get any of the curses. Um, if he had gotten for the Mind Blast, uh, for the uh, Mind Bloom event with two normalities, uh, theoretically another 150 points from having curses, having gold, and having extra cards would have been possible putting him definitely much further up um, and then also the other thing that Mozan did is uh, Mozan played the, or finished the run after the end of the day um, and I think we can now know for certain that the run still gets recorded Anyway, let's move on to today's run. So sealed deck with control chaos and lethality now because I have lethality Let me see if there's anything that I can do with strength Oh boy, no reason not to go for collective bonuses, right? So I think I'll pick up some duplicates. I just don't see anything good. I was hoping for multi-hit attacks, but literally no multi-hit attack here in this deck. Now I could, could I do perfected strike deck? So I have one, two, three, four. No, I think five, five. I have five strike cards. I don't think that's enough. Let's not do that then. So why don't I just take the two disarms? That should definitely help. And then let's do the iron wave anger. I do have a few headbutts. Okay, and then let's focus on block. So maybe armament, another iron wave. Should I do rage? With all the attacks in my deck, rage might not be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, let's take it. Okay, so in terms of defense, I have the disarms, armaments, iron wave, or two iron wave, and then the rage, and then rest is offense. I think that should that should work. Okay, I have no idea how I'm going to perfect things. Um, I am thinking of trying to take rare cards, depending if I get any good offered. 
Two two elite paths. If I stick on the far left, I'll get one, two, three, four. And then a fifth one if I turn right with a rest site or on the left without a rest site. Okay. And if I stick on the right, I'll get way less than that. All right. So let's get to this elite and I can decide if I want to get the rest site or not, depending on how much HP I lose. All right. Let's do rage. Oh, I should have probably upgraded that rage, huh? That might have helped me. Iron wave and then headbutt. I'll put the iron wave back in case I get attacked next turn. And then here, let's do Iron Wave 1, Headbutt for kill. Good. Got a Power Push and Twin Strikes for Boomerang Trigger. This is why I wanted to have some multi-hits at the beginning. Should I take it? Because with the extra strength, it's not a bad amount of damage. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. No idea how I'm going to defend against the Hexaghost. Um, here, let's get the Doubt Curse as well as a bunch of gold. And then here, even more gold for HP. Uh, here's Curse number 1. Actually, no, Curse number 2 with Regret. Right. But amazingly, it gave me Dead Branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a round card into your hand. Okay, so I already have two curses, but I also have a real good relic for it. Curse number three, Pain, as well as Warp Tongues. At the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for Rust of Combat. Okay, now I need some extra card draw to be able to get rid of, um, or, well, draw something other than the curses. Let me upgrade the Disarms, because I'm actually thinking that one chance I have against the Hexagos would be to play a bunch of Disarms early on. All right, so let's upgrade the Sword Boomerang, and then um, I can kill one of them with Headbutt and the other one with the Sword Boomerang. Good. Okay. Reaper, Clash, Wild Strike. Yeah, I don't think I need Re uh, Reaper. I definitely can't take Clash because of all the curses. Let's take the Wild Strike. Okay. All right, first of these sentries. I do have to... Wait, no. I needed one of the Iron Waves to get upgraded, and I didn't get lucky. Is there a way I can kill here? Uh, well, let me see if the Sword Boomerang hits the... Uh, it only hit it once, right? 27. What would the power potion have to give me? An inf No, not an inflame would not be enough. All right, let's ignore the perfect here, and I'll just defend a little bit. Uh, I do have to lose HP. I do have regular fights before the boss fight, so I can lose HP there. Okay. All right, so here let's do rage. Um, headbutt is enough to kill. Let's put back something like the sword boomerang, and then I'll do... Let me see what the... Dis not the disarm, the... Um, Dead Branch gives me. Yeah, fine. Nothing super amazing. Let's just do an Anger here. Okay. Uh -huh. And then here I can just do Sword Boomerang. And let's do Armaments. Might as well. Okay. I'll draw all my three curses in the same hand. Hopefully that doesn't happen against the boss. Um, I can just kill with Fiendfire, right? Um, yeah, let's do Inflame, then Fiendfire. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then I should be able to, here, flex and reckless charge, and then any decent tag will kill next turn. Okay. Yeah, this one would have been very difficult to perfect. I'm glad I didn't try that. We got Pocket Watch. One of you play three or less cards during your turn. Draw three, three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Rampage, Iron Wave, Rupture. Let's take another Iron Wave. Although Rupture would not have been a bad idea because I have um, Regret and Pain. So if I go left, as I said before, one question mark room, three regular fights. Right side is one question mark room and an extra rest side. I don't think I need the rest side. Let's do a regular fight. Hope to get a good card out of that. We got Happy Flower. Every three turns get extra energy. Very nice. And then here I got the Cultist. Uh, let's start with uh, Sword Boomerang, Iron Wave, Wild Strike. Okay. Hmm. And then here I can just kill with a Headbutt, right? Good. Okay, Sentinel, Feel No Pain, Shrug It Off. I would love to take Feel No Pain, it's just a shame as I don't exhaust enough at the moment. Let's take Shrug It Off first. I have a solid defensive card that way. Hmm. And I also don't really have AoE, huh? I do have Sword Boomerang, let's play that. And then bring back one of the... Well, bring back the Sword Boomerang. And then let's bring back the Headbutt as well and kill the Backliner, sure. Okay. It's nice when you have extra energy with Pocket Watch. Do I wanna... No, I have another regular fight coming after this. Okay. It's going to make the Happy Flower be at 2 rather than 3, but I think this is fine. Let's take the Spot Weakness, even though I'm not a huge fan, but definitely more of a fan than the other two cards that were offered there. Let's do Armaments, Rage, Disarm, and Iron Wave. Okay. So here I'm thinking trying to get the Happy Flower to 2 might be better. Let's do another Disarm. I don't think I need Fire Breathing. Let's Headbutt. Uh, and armaments, and then I'll do uh, wild strike, and anger would kill, so let's not do that just yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind losing HP anyway. Let's do armaments, um, iron wave, okay, and then I'll wait, and I should be able to kill next turn. Just need four damage, and uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. 
All right, Headbutt, Pummel, or Iron Wave. I think I unfortunately have to take another Iron Wave for the Collector bonus. Pummel would have been great. You know what? No, let's take the Pummel because it also exhausts. Okay, so I have extra energy here. I'm not being attacked, which is unfortunate because I actually can defend. And I have spot weakness. Great. And next turn, I weakened. Okay, this is not going well. Let's just do Anger Wild Strike. Uh, try to trigger the Pocket Watch next turn. Okay, 17. Well, this arm doesn't do much. Let me see if the Pummel gives me something amazing. Mm, yeah, this is not amazing. I don't think there's anything I can do, right? Uh, fine. In that case, let's just do Iron Wave and then Headbutt. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll lose some HP. Not not much I can do about that. And I think that's okay too. I don't think I'll use the potion. I think I will use the potion for the boss fight because I think that's much more important to perfect. Let's do Iron Wave, Blood for Blood. And that's enough to kill, right? At Gambling Chip, at the Savage Combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards as well as a Block Potion. That Block Potion is very useful. Exhume and Trench or Demon Form. I will risk going for Popper. As dangerous as that sounds. Um, I don't think I'll need a Trench either though. Oh, this is tough. Maybe, you know what? I'll take the exhum and I'll remove it because that will allow me to exhum the disarm potentially. Okay, so get rid of the pain. Okay. And then I think I'll upgrade the pummel. Then play that for 25 damage. Very nice. And then I can do iron wave. Uh, actually, yeah, I can do iron wave and then shrug it off to be... F uh, I thought I'll be fully defended, but I'm losing one HP. And then two from the regret. Okay. Um, let's do... Um, this arm, see what that we'll see what I get from that. And Carnage kills, good. No, no, I thought Carnage kills. Okay, fine. Should be able to kill next turn. That way the Happy Flower will also be at three, which is nice. Or at two. We got a smoke bomb potion, which I don't think I'll take. Carnage human kinesis shockwave. I'll take the shockwave because it exhausts and Oh no, I was supposed to lose HP her. I messed up. I completely messed up. I was supposed to lose a bunch of HP here. So now all my disarms are not gonna save me at all. Even if I draw them on the right turn. I mean, you know what? Let's give it a try. So get rid of all of these. Then do disarm, exhume, the disarm. And then um, let me see if this gives me anything. Dark Embrace, Combustor, Rupture. Uh, I mean, my only hope is to, to have Dark Embrace give me something good. And then I do have a block potion. What is coming up next? I don't have a disarm coming up for quite some time. So let me see. Hmm. Can I headbutt something? Nothing that exhausts. I can headbutt the shrug it off. Let's try that. And then I'll play the ghostly armor not to lose it, I guess. Could try to get it back with a headbutt. So even with negative three strength, actually 18 seems possible to handle here. Um, yeah, if I upgrade the shrug it off. What's coming up next? Spot weakness. Okay, then do shrug it off. That's 16. And then range and headbutt is enough. Actually, okay. Somehow got through this. Good. I mean, that's what happens when you have negative six strength on the enemy, right? Uh, let's bring back the ghostly armor because I feel like I might need uh, as much help as I can get. Three incoming. Um, oh, the enemy's not, not weakened, so the disarm would actually be enough, right? Awesome. All right. Um, should I do pummel? Um, I would like to do shockwave as well for the weakness. Um, yeah, fine. Let's do shockwave. Okay. And I think that's it. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I need Juggernaut. Okay, zero incoming. That's good. Um, oh, Corruption is great. Okay, let's do Corruption. Okay. Then do Flex. I'm not sure if I should... Well, there's nothing really to dual wield, right? Um, I don't even think I want to dual wield the Inflame. Uh, let's just do Sword Boomerang. And then I'll play the Impervious. And Reckless Charge. Uh, the Impervious was played mostly to have the Regret deal less damage. Okay. Alright, another zero. I can probably double tap the clothesline, right? Or pummel strike. Do I have anything good coming up? There's a field no pain coming up. Yeah, let's double tap the pummel strike then. Okay. And then do field no pain offering. Okay. And then another field no pain bloodletting. I probably should have counted cards. Another disarm. Very nice. Flame barrier. Let me play a few angers first to free up my hand, then do flame barrier. Okay. What's coming up next? Uh, there's a Battle Trans, which unfortunately will make me stop being able to draw any cards, so I don't think I'll do that. Let's do Combust, Thunderclap. Then uh, Pummel... No, Impervious first. Okay. Then Pummel Strike. Okay, another Anger. I can't do Clash, so I think I have to do the Battle Trans. All right. I really should have counted cards. Actually, never mind. There is my card count here. 17. Okay. So if I do something like... Um, dual Wield uh, Rupture, sure. 
then a burning pact this and then another offering awesome that way i can do perfected strike uh no let's do another dark embrace this seems too much let's do clothesline and then uh brutality and rupture okay awesome got the combo modifier here got that lucky uh, corruption out of the um uh wait how did i get the corruption was it the it wasn't the potion right must have been from dead ranch all right uh i think here i can just do shockwave and then double tap the uppercut whoops awesome all right perfect this one we got an explosive potion offering fiend fire berserk so the exhume helped trying to think if i should go i already got combo right so i don't really need offering for the score i mean it might fiend fire is also really good i think i'll risk going for popper yeah i'm, I'm feeling confident Neko Eye is tempting, but I don't have any high cost card other than the Shockwave, so I don't think that's worth it. Um, instead, let's take the Sacred Bark, double the effectiveness of potions. That seems like a decent choice. Okay. And then I do have to remember to remove the Exhume. Uh, probably on Act 3, though. I think I'll keep it for Act 2. All right, three lead path. Um, I have to start on the left. Get three question mark rooms and then two elites, and then I can either go this way for three more question mark rooms or turn right. Or less. Yeah, so I'll go I'll go on the left. Start in the middle and then turn left. Okay. Alright, Shelled Parasite. I think I'll start with the Sword Boomerang. Seems like a good idea. Alright, let's do Rage, Sword Boomerang. Okay. Then Iron Wave, Anger, and fully defend with the Shroggot off. Although I probably should have played that first in case I drew something like Armaments. Hmm. 18. Uh, yeah, this arm is great. Um, Emokinesis deals damage, sure. And then I think I'll do Iron Wave, I guess, to uh, defend a little. Okay. Hmm. All right, and then 10 incoming. Yeah, the pain is annoying, but I think I have to power through it. Let's do Disarm, Spot Weakness, and then um, Iron Wave. Okay. Not taking any damage. And then I feel like I should be able to deal a lot of damage, especially with 6 Strength. Um, yeah, let's do Seeing Red. Pummel. And then emulate kills. Good. Okay, got a skill potion, which I'll take over the smoke bomb. I don't think I need a smoke bomb potion. Uppercut, dual wield, or flex. If I had more strength, uppercut, or more energy, uppercut would be great. Trying to think if I should take dual wield, but no, let's go with the uppercut, sure. The weakness and vulnerability is very nice. Okay, chosen. Um, get rid of the curses. I'm glad I, I'm able to get her all, rid of all of them early on. Um, I think I'll do rage, disarm, and then I will do spot weakness. Okay. And then uh, it will take a little bit of damage, but I think this should be fine. Let's put... Oh, next turn I'm not being attacked. Okay, really? I should have... I don't want to put anything back. Fine, let's put this back. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I think I'll just do Shockwave and Pummel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now 7 incoming, but the enemy is vulnerable. So I think a Sword from Rank should be enough to kill. Good. Okay, Hemokinesis, Anger, Ghostly Armor. Ghostly Armor is a decent defensive card. I think I'll take it, yeah. And worst case, it exhausts and, you know, gives me a random card at the end of the turn. Get rid of the Curse. Uh, Sword Boomerang is fine, although I would like some defensive cards. Yeah, I can do Disarm, Shockwave for the weakness. That's great. And then, um, yeah, just Anger, I guess. Still taking 15 damage. Hmm. All right, another 15. I have another Disarm, which is great. And I can do one more Disarm. That way I basically uh, only have to worry about... Oh, actually, no, mine's zero incoming. Great. So, yeah, let's not play anything else for the pain not to deal any more damage. Hmm. And then here, unfortunately, I'm not being attacked. The turn I have to spot weakness. Uh, let's just deal damage then. So, um, yeah, how about Wild Strike, Headbutt. And then why don't I just Headbutt something like Pummel and then another Headbutt. I think that should be enough. The Pummel alone should be enough to kill next turn, right? Even if I'm weakened. Uh, yes. Okay, I got an attack potion, which seems tempting, but no, I'll save the potions I have because I'm happy with them. Another iron wave. Did I ever get four? No, no, I rejected the fourth one, right? Let's take a fourth one now. Okay. And then here I got a fourth curse, the Wrath as well as Ornamental Fan. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. And Wrath is actually really nice because I have the gambling chip. And then, yeah, probably take the special relic for my first turn to be amazing. We do joining strength, strategy come with three strength, and the end of your first turn, lose three strength again. Okay. The first elite Gremlin leader. Well, first elite on this act. Uh, let me get rid of everything that's not an attack card. Okay, trying to be aggressive here. Ugh. All right, well, at least I have 32 damage here. 14. I also have an exhume. Let's see what the Shrugged Off gives me. 
Iron Wave 11. Okay, well, Iron Wave killed... You know what? I think I have to kill the minions. So let's do Pummel, then Iron Wave. And then I'll do Anger. Which seems a little wasteful, but I think that's better than using the potion. I'll rather save the potion for later. Okay. All right, not being attacked here. That's good. Um, I guess I'll just do Wild Strike and Headbutt. Let me Headbutt... Should I Headbutt to Disarm? Or... Or Iron Wave? Let's do Wild Strike. That is almost going to guarantee a kill on the on a minion. Hmm. All right, Backlash not attacking. That's good. Uh, okay, Wild Strike is 12, 20. I'm trying to think if I should use the Explosive Potion because I would like to do the Shockwave. Let's do Shockwave first. Okay, Brutality is fine. I think I'll do um, Headbutt. Uh, fine, let's Headbutt. I'm not sure. Uh, disarm, sure. And then throw the Explosive Potion. Okay. Hmm. Alright, still not being attacked. Very nice. Um, I think I'll do Uppercut and then Rupture or Fuel No Pain or neither. I think I'll do neither. Disarm is not... Yeah, you know what? Let's do Twin Strike. I think at this point, uh, rather than trying to defend, I should just try to kill. Because the enemy is vulnerable too, so I don't need that much damage. And now I'm being attacked and there's a Fiendfire to kill. Awesome. Okay. Perfected this one. And I got a Corruption later too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm glad I got the combo out of the way uh, on Act 1. Don't have to worry about that. We got Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power card, Ram card in your hand, cause zero that turn. Very nice. And then I don't think I'll do Fire Breathing. It is a power. Let's take another Sword Boomerang. I think that's better. Mm -hmm. All right, Chosen and Cultist. Uh, get rid of... Uh, actually, I'll keep the Rage. It might give me some good block cards. Or, uh, sorry, it might give me some good defense. Let's do Intimidate, and then Sword Boomerang, and Iron Wave. Uh, should I do Pummel Strike? Um, no, let's keep the Exhume for next turn. I can try to Exhume the um, uh, the Disarm again. Hmm? Actually, instead I might just do Shockwave Pummel. That might be better. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Limit Break that I can't use. Uh, you know what? Let's Exhume. Might as well do something else. So I'll Exhume the Intimidate again here. Okay. I was just seeing red that if I had gotten that earlier, would have made things a little bit more fun. All right, so here let's headbutt. I'm not sure what. Twin Strike, Limit Break might be fine too. And then Iron Wave. Okay, actually, I'm not going to play another Iron Wave because I do want to trigger the Pocket Watch. All right, 12 incoming. I think, I don't think I can kill here, right? Twin Strike is 22. This is another 18, so 39. What about Sword Boomerang? That's 18, 22, that's 40. Uh, yeah, I think that should be enough with the headbutt, right? Awesome. Okay. Alright, Armin's Body Slam, True Grid. I'll take the upgraded Armin's. Very nice. And then Book of Stabbing. This might be a challenge with the Lethality Modifier. Uh, let's get rid of everything that's not a Disarm. I will keep the Iron Wave, though, for a little bit of block. I also have a Block Potion, which might be useful. There's a Weakness, but I can't do everything. Let's do Disarm first, that's for sure. Another Disarm. That is really nice. And now I can fill it defense with Shrug It Off. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, and then I also am triggering the pocket watch next turn. Good, and there's a corruption. Uh, am I? Will I be able to fully defend though? I think I can. Yeah, let's definitely do corruption, and then I'll exhume the upgraded disarm. Okay, and then um, so I still have to defend against uh, three, which I can with the armaments. Is there anything I need to upgrade? Eh, I might as well upgrade the uh, pummel. Why not? Now uh, there's an impervious. That one I definitely don't need. And then I guess I'll just do Wild Strike and Anger. Um, what do I have next turn? Next turn, I do have Armaments. I have the big attack coming up next turn. So, right, right? so I need... I need The enemy is not weakened, right? So I can do Armaments, Uppercut. I will bring it down to... Wait, negative 5. So instead of 21, it's going to be 16 with weakness. That drops down to 12. The Armaments alone is not enough. I, I'm afraid I have to use the Block Potion, right? My point is, do I want to do Battle Trance now? If I do Battle Trance, then next turn I won't draw anything good. Yeah, so let's not do Battle Trance now. Hmm. Alright, yeah, so 16 as I predicted. Um, so let's do Armaments first. Okay. Then Spot Weakness. Okay, Bloodletting, might as well. And then Feel No Pain, unfortunately, comes a little too late. Um, yeah, let's definitely do Uppercut. 12, and this is unfortunately... Oh, no, never mind. I have exactly 12. Phew. Okay. And then let's do Perfect the Strike. Why not? And I also forgot about the Ornamental Panda, which would have given me some block, too. All right, let's do Disarm. Okay, so now I definitely have zero incoming. I'll do Rage. Uh, double tap. 
uh, here. Let's upgrade the double tap. Okay. And then seeing red is great. Another seeing red. Okay. Well, now I have lots of energy. Let's double tap the cleave. Actually, that's enough to kill, right? Good. All right. Perfect. This one, I got the boot. One of you deal four less unlocked attack damage and increase you to five, as well as intimidate, anger, or cleave. I don't have any. Oh, actually, I do have one anger. Fine. Let's take another anger just for a collector bonus. And then here, I decided to go middle and then left, right? Okay. Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. Very nice. I just need more card draw on turn one now. Bird face earn. One of you play power card, heal two HP. Mm -hmm. And then here, oh, this is a great event. Definitely going to fight these and get two relics out of it too. All right. Uh, get rid of everything. I will keep the Swap Boomerang just for the extra damage it does. Uh, yeah, let's just do Swap Boomerang. I'll do this arm and then Iron Wave. I uh, should have done Thunderclap first, of course. Come. Okay. 18. Uh, let's upgrade everything first, then do Iron Wave. Okay. And then I guess I'm fully defended, so I guess I should have looked ahead what was going to come up anyway. But yeah, I don't want to abuse Frozen Eye, especially if it's not a fight where I get uh, where I get extra points by perfecting. Let's do Shockwave. Anything I need to exhum? Not really. Um, I think instead I'll do something like Rage and Iron Wave. Okay. Maybe that Rage would be something good to upgrade soon. Okay, 14. I think I should be able to kill with uh, Bludgeon. Why not? All right, and then here I definitely want to fight a powerful fight with many rewards. Okay, get rid of everything since I'm... Well, I'm being attacked, but not by much. I think I'll try to get some good multi-hit attacks maybe. Uh, or, sure, let's do spot weakness, then uppercut, and then uh, headbutt. I'll headbutt the iron wave. I probably should have targeted the Grumman Knob rather than the Taskmaster, right? Mm -hmm. 17. Let's do... Shockwave is not that great, I think. I want to upgrade everything. Let me kill with the anger here. And then, um, you know what? I will do the armaments just so I can do a better pummel. And then let's also do iron wave. Why not? Okay. That way I'm only taking three damage, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then 19. Anything useful to exhume? No, just a pummel might still be worth it. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. All right. Oh, that's actually 40 damage. And then together with the cleave, that's enough to kill. Good. Okay, perfect. This one we got shovel. Actually, I didn't perfect. I took damage, right? But doesn't matter. We got shovel. You can now dig for for relics at rest sites. And paper frog enemy the vulnerable takes seventy five percent more damage rather than fifty. That's very nice. A snake oil potion and another anger, sure. Okay. And then one more elite and question mark room on the left here. Yeah, these slavers might be a challenge. Um, I do need the rage. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I also have the snake oil potion, right? Let me keep no. Um, fine. Let's get rid of this. All right, I'll do Rage. And then I think I should try to use the Sneko Potion here. Okay. All right, Shockwave, unfortunately, didn't become cheaper. That was sort of my hope. Let's do Spot Weakness. Amul is 44 damage. That's almost enough to kill one of them. Together with the Iron Wave, it would be enough. But how can I defend against uh, 25? Well, Iron Wave became free. Let's play that. Mm hmm. And then I can do Headbutt. Uh, whoa, that is not the card I meant to play. Well, that was that might have been a mistake. Okay, should I use... You know what? I'm going to keep the Block Potion for... Uh, yeah, let's use a Skill Potion. Hope I got a um, nice defensive card. I did not. Um, but let's take the Infernal Blade because that will give me Block with the... Um, uh, with the... Uh, what do you call it? Rage. So let's do Emulate. Also, that incidentally kills one of them. And now I'm fully defended. Okay, had to use two potions, but was able to get through this. Mm -hmm. There's an offering. Can I just deal 12 damage? Uh, I cannot. Uh, okay. Let's see what the offering gives me. Yeah, Swarp and Rank kills. Okay, fine, fine. Perfect. This one we got Smiling Mass, a Merchant's Card Room Service that always costs 50 gold, as well as a Skill Potion. So I got my Skill Potion back. And then because I have Paper Frog, I'm thinking of taking Thunderclap. Mm hmm. And then here I got shop. Great. I think I should definitely take the Omori right up and pick up. Choose and add five cards to your deck. Let's see. Shrug it up. Power through headbutt. Shrug it up is good. Headbutt. I already... How many copies of headbutt do I have? I have three, so that could be a collector bonus. Armaments and trench bloodletting here. I'll take an armaments right off the bat. Headbutt. Have a cleave. I could take the headbutt here and shrug it up before. Sentinel second wind. Yeah, not a huge fan. Limit break would be great, but no. Um, let me take an intimidate here. Here I'll take a second wind because it exhausts things. Here, let's take the uh, fourth headbutt, and then here I'll take a shrug it up. Power through might have been good too. Should have considered power through there. 
I don't think I need these relics. Uh, let's take Feel No Pain, another Rage. I'm not sure about Cleave. I don't think I need Cleave. And then in terms of potions, let's take a Swift Potion. And I'm hoping I can get another shop on Act 3 to remove the Exhume. Or should I play it safe? You know what? At this point, the Exhume is not that powerful. So why don't I just remove it now? Yeah, because yeah, I'm not relying so much on the Disarms anymore. I think it's good. Now, Jack of Trades will also exhaust and I do have the gold. Let's take it. Okay. All right. I think that was a good shop. Okay, Centurion and Mystic. Uh, let's see. Get rid of the Curses. Um, I think I'm good defensively. I do want to try to avoid losing HP if I can. Let's do Rage Intimidate. Okay. And then uh, let's do Ghostly Armor Shrug it off. I need only seven. Yeah, I'm fully defended already. Let's do Inflame and Cleave. And might as well do Iron Wave. Why not? I'm trying to think if this is the right fight to wait for the Dead Branch to give me something like Demon Form and then gain a bunch of strength and deal, get the Overkill modifier. Might take a while, um, but it, it is worth a try. Let's do Shrug it off first. Then Secret Weapon to get, I don't know, something like... Um, actually, there is the... Um, did I already discard the Uppercut? I must have. Okay, let's do Iron Wave. That way I can block even while frail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll see. If I get if I get something good that might allow me to get the Overkill modifier, I'll go for it. Otherwise, I don't think I'll bother. Uh, let's do Rage, Headbutt, what? Ghostly Armor, and then Anger. Come. Mm -hmm. 15. Uh, yeah, I think I can do Disarms, right? Yeah, let's do one Disarm. I'll do Shockwave, and then Ghostly Armor. And I'll wait. Yeah, I think I'll speed this up. Either I'll kill or I'll try to get the overcome modifier. I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. I killed accidentally. I, I didn't realize how much damage the pummel was dealing. All right, fine. Uh, I didn't get the overcome modifier, of course. We got a speed potion, which I think I can ignore. Metallicus would be really good. Shrug it off or Sword Boomerang. I think I have two of each. Yeah, all right. Just for the sake of collecting bonuses, I should take another Sword Boomerang. All right, and then here I... Let me see how many elites I get on, act, on the next act before I start digging. First, let's upgrade. There are lots of things to upgrade. The rage might be a good upgrade. I should could also upgrade the armaments to upgrade everything else. Let's do that. Come. Okay. All right. So, got the collector here. Let me plan ahead real quick. So next turn, I wouldn't mind having the iron waves and the uppercut and rage. Let's draw one card here. Okay. And then I can do armaments. And let's make sure I draw extra cards next turn. So I'm only going to play two. Let's do wild strike and cleave okay all right so i'm triggering the pocket watch um okay not everybody or the backline is not attacking that's good let's do rage intimidate can i play the spot weakness before playing attack so oh i do have double tap that's not going to be enough though if i double tap the iron wave uh that is going to be 14 block that's exactly enough right or i can just do two iron wave with the rage that should be enough right yeah so let's do spot weakness then do iron wave one wait Pummel is 32 damage. Together with Iron Wave, that will be enough to kill one of the minions. Let's do that. I calculate that correctly, right? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Backlander decided to attack. Um, this might be a problem. I don't have anything amazing coming up. Let's do Second Wind first, see what I get. Okay. All right. Bloodletting is fine. Uh, let's do Pummel. Okay. I can do Burning Pack to see what else I get from the um, from the Dead Branch. Now, there is a Clothline, but that will cost all of my energy. Let's kill you with an Anger. And then if I do Shrug it off, that's 18. That's not enough. Is the Skill Potion able to give me anything? Not really. Well, I mean, let's hope. Yeah, Flame Bear is fine. Power Throw is fine. Trench is fine. They're all fine. Let's take the Flame Bear, sure. Play both of them. And that means that I can also do Clothline here. That way, next turn, the enemy will be weakened as well. All right, and then here, let's do this arm after all, and then I'll do... Yeah, fire breathing is not really necessary. I only have one more curse left. Uh, let's definitely do Sword Boomerang, and then I have one more card to play. Let's make that the fire breathing. Why not? Come. I got the impervious here. That's really nice in case I get attacked. And I am not being attacked. Fine. Not going to complain about that. Let's do armaments. Feel no pain. And then also only one card. Let's do not the Thunderclap. I guess I'll... Do most damage is the anger, right? Fine. Come. Okay. Everybody's attacking me here again. Okay, so um, let's 
see what am I going to do? Let's do Jack of all trades. That gives me dark shackles. That's very nice. Okay, sort of want the carnage to exhaust. I can apply weakness, but these guys will do a lot of damage too, right? Um, what is Warcry going to give me? Nothing amazing. Uh, let's see what the Sword Boomerang... What about Headbutt? I could Headbutt something and draw with the Warcry. What that, should that be? The second wind, right? Yeah. Let's Headbutt the second wind, uh, which is here. I said... I thought. Ooh, I misclicked. God, ah, I misclicked. I was going to scroll and I misclicked. That is going to ruin things, right? It's not too late still. I can still Headbutt... Okay, this time let me use the scroll wheel here and get the second wind. Grab it with the war cry. I'm going to put something uppercut go back, then do second wind. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have any extra strength, though. I guess if I use the block push, I'll be fine. It's just such a shame to have to do that. But yeah, fine, fine. That's all because of a misclick. Because if I had one more energy, I could have killed at least one of the minions. All right, well, there's a barricade that might help, although everybody's attacking me again. Um, yeah, this might be problematic. Uh, there is a corruption coming up. Unfortunately, that's not going to really help me here, though. Um, well, there's a flame barrier after that, too. Still not, not really enough, right? Um, let's do rage. So I can, if I draw cards now, I'll draw four cards. I won't even get to the flame barrier. So I need to play one more thing. I think that should be the... No, it can't be the clothesline. Yeah, it has to be seeing red, right? Okay. And then now I can do something like Twin Strike. All right. Then do the Swift Potion. Then play Corruption. Okay. Then do Flame Barrier, Infernal Blade. That's a Wild Strike. I don't really need. Um, I guess I can double tap something. Should that be the clothesline? Wait, how much do I need? I need 34. Actually, I'm pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully defended. Good. Okay, so then let's get rid of the demon form. It's too expensive for me to play at the moment. Then do spot weakness. Infernal blade. Wild strike again. And then I can do one more wild strike. And then burning pact. All right. And then blood for blood. I should have done the flex first. Reckless charge. And unfortunately, I can't do the fiend fire. So let's just do sword from rank. Okay, all right. Had to use all my potions, but I was able to perfect. Well, hang on. It's not over yet. Okay, minion down. Let's do Dark Embrace. Feel no pain. And you know what? Let's do another Dark Embrace. Why not? Okay. Backland is not attacking. And now I think I can try to go crazy. Let's do upgrade everything. Then uh, Thunderclap. And then Blood for Blood for a kill. Good. Okay, perfect this one. Let's see, we got an Ancient Potion, Limit Break, Exhume Corruption. Nope, I'm going to go for P uh, Popper. It seems to be working out fine so far. I would love extra energy, but I don't think I can take a Runic Dome. Busted Crown, get energy at the start of your turn. Future card awards have two additional cards, or two less cards to choose from. That's a problem because I'm trying to go for Collector Bonuses, right? And I still have a few cards that I need, a few duplicates to get the Collector Bonus. I also don't really think I'd take a Runic Pyramid. I think I'll skip this one. Yeah, Runic Pyramid might be nice, but also might be really horrible. So let's not risk it. Okay, one, two. Two lead paths, unfortunately. Two of them. One on the left with one, two, three, four, five, six question mark rooms. And then one on the right with one, two, three, four. Now, the left path with the six question mark rooms actually does have an early shot, but I can avoid it. I don't really need a shot, although I do also have the gold. Wait, two leads and then one from a treasure chest means I do need to hit a shop to buy some good relics. Or I should try to rest at rest sites. Well, I might have to do both, actually. Okay, let's get rid of this and this. I will definitely play the cleave here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any block. Let's do cleave. Take a little bit of damage and disarm. All right, intimidate is good. Okay, that way I only take five damage. And then I can do wild strike you, anger you, and then wild strike you. I don't think I'll play the superman because I don't want to lose too much HP. If it hits the uh, spiker here. Mm-hmm. Here, let's do Pummel, see what I draw. Actually, let's do Iron Wave. Yeah, that way I don't take any damage. And one more Iron Wave. And then um, I can do Headbutt. Uh, let's Headbutt something like Iron Wave again. Okay. okay. And then here, Iron Wave doesn't deal damage back. And I can kill with the Anger. Good. Okay, I got a Power Potion, Headbutt, Rampage, or Clash. I already have enough head headbats, headbutts, right? So I don't need another one. I also don't really need a Clash. Uh, I don't, don't want 
the Rampage either. Let me take the Clash because I do have second win, so maybe I can get lucky with it. Alright, uh, I have to lose one of these. Unfortunately, I don't want to lose the Iron Wave, right? I already have a Collector Bonus on that. So definitely not the Iron Wave. Feel No Pain is such a good card. It has to be the Shrug it off, I guess, just from the process of elimination. Uh, yeah, let's do the shop here as well, just in case I need Relics. Lee's Waffle and Strawberry, unfortunately, are not enough for the Max HP modifier. Um, let's take Sever Soul, it's cheap. I mean, I should take still Relics, right? I'm just trying to think of Strawberry. You know what? There is a way I could get maybe a potion or something to get a little bit of max HP, so let's risk it. I'll take Lee Swaffle up and pick up Race from HP by 7, heal all of your HP. And then Strawberry up and pick up Race from HP by another 7. I can't afford the Oracalcum. I'm at 20 Relics right now, I'm guaranteed another 3. That might be a little close. Um, I guess I'll get that Shrug it off back. Let's also take Cleave, and I think that's, well, all I can afford. Ooh, if only this came a little sooner. Well, this would give me five relics, or five curses. Let's do it. Yeah. Now, having a bunch of normalities is annoying, but I will be able to predict when I will get them. So, yeah, this is great, and I can play the Clash as well. Let's do Clash. Um, yep. And then Iron Wave. So, wait, I have 25 incoming Iron Wave. Do I want to kill the Backliner? Uh, no, I think I'll do this. That way I'm fully defended and I can kill the backliner easily whenever I need to. Hmm. Uh, like, for example, this might be a good turn to kill the backliner. Uh, let's do armaments first, then jackal trade, see what I get. Okay, I can do rage and then um, I'll play ghostly armor so that the madness hits the uppercut. Okay, then let's do thinking ahead. I'll put the uh, pummel back because I would like to play that next turn. And unfortunately, I think I have to kill the backliner with the uppercut. Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, the power hit the wild strike. That's good. Let's uppercut you, then wild strike the backliner. Okay, and then I don't think I'll do berserk. A little berserk. You know what? Let's do berserk, and then the headbutt will kill this one. Good. And I can bring uh, maybe another uppercut back. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so here, uh, let's do uppercut and then pummel. Um, actually. Almost only 32, right? Let's upgrade that. And now it's enough to kill. Good. Okay. Entrench, Flex, or Bloodletting. Let's take the Bloodletting, especially if I have a Corruption active. That might be very useful. Hmm. Reptomancer. I do have a Power Pusher, but let me try to get by without using it. Um, yeah, I think... Is there a Clash coming up? Not really. I wouldn't mind getting a Cleave, so let's get rid of four things. Okay. I have Thunderclap, Cleave, which seems like a good idea. Yeah, let's do Thunderclap, Cleave. And then let me do Sword Boomerang, because that's actually way more damage than the Uppercut. I could also do Uppercut, but then I won't trigger the Pocket Watch. What do I have next turn? I do have Second Wind. Okay, let's do Uppercut here. All right. Okay, Reptomancer is not attacking. That's good. Let's do Second Wind to get rid of the Curses. And then um, Infernal Blade gives me another Cleave. I don't want to be vulnerable next turn, so I'm a little hesitant to play the Berserk. I think I should do Cleave headbutt and uh that probably should be another cleave yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah everyone's attacking me here uh let's do uh, this is gonna be rough to perfect but i can play almost everything actually nothing exhaust right so i think i'll play the ghost armor instead of the field of pain let's do iron wave cleave that is exactly enough to kill the backliner but yeah unfortunately i only have 21 block i needed a block push to be able to fully defend here unfortunately i didn't have that all right, um, here, let's do Sword Boomerang, Anger, and then Server So for Kill. Yeah, just one turn I missed there. Got Question Card, Future Card Awards, and one additional card to choose from, as well as the Blessing of the Forge and Anger. That will be my Collector Mode on Anger. Good. Okay. And then maybe I should do a Rest Side to get an extra Relic. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's play it safe. Okay. I got Stone Calendar at the end of turn 7. Deal 50 to damage to all enemies. That rarely is going to happen. I do have Time Eater at the end. I have to be a little careful with that. Here, uh, let's see. I could get another curse, although I don't really need any. I uh, think I need curses. A relic is really nice too. Okay. Let's see what I get here. Pair. Great. I'm gonna pick up resource max HP by ten. Okay, good. So actually, if I get really greedy, another six max HP, and I, I'll have uh, an extra twenty-five points. We got ginger. You can no longer become weakened. Okay, and I think this guarantees twenty-five relics, right? Yeah, because this is 24th, and I'll get a 25th right after this. Okay, get rid of this. And normalities, there's a pain coming up, and then there's a normality next turn. Uh, that might be a problem, right? No, I think I'm fine, especially if I weaken. I just have to hope I don't get the big attack. 
Uppercut might be good for an extra turn of weakness. I might be a little excessive too, though. Fine, let's do Uppercut. And then uh, might as well do Anger. Okay. I'm hoping I don't get the big attack. Nope, 18. That's good because I have the Disarm and Shrug it off. Uh-huh. And then I can play one more card. Oh, two Normalis. This is really nice, actually. Uh, let's just do... Oh, wait, no. I'm not fully defended. I do need something like Iron Wave. Okay, good. Good thing I noticed that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Another Disarm. Very happy with that. Uh, let's do Rage, Bloodletting, Disarm. Gen Jack of all trades. Uh, I do have an Armaments. I'm not sure what I should use it on, though. Yeah, let's upgrade the Intimidate. Why not? Mm -hmm. Even more turns of weakness, just in case... All right, uh, let's do Iron Wave, and then I can do Metamorphosis, play the Clash. I should have done... Well, it doesn't matter. Wait, no, I can't do Clash. I have to do Seeing Red first, and Shrug it off, and then Clash. Good. Sword Boomerang, Twin Strike, and that's enough to kill. Awesome. Perfect. This one, I got Ceram Ceramic Fish. I'm going to add a card to Deck Gain 9 Gold. Evolve, Ghostly Armor, Clash, or Pummel Strike. Um, I mean, the only thing I have two copies of... Actually, I only had one Ghostly Armor. I mean, a second one is good, too, especially if it's pre-upgraded. And transient 33 uh, I think I'll do second one can I get another curse no not unless I discard everything uh, let's get just get rid of one of the these things then do disarm second wind mm -hmm. and then I guess I can do feel no pain here let's do anger and then I do uppercut instead fine let's do uppercut instead that way I don't take any damage now mm -hmm. 40 there's a normality uh, let's do Shragadoff is going to give me a Swarp Boomerang. That might be worth it. Uh, so let's do Shragadoff, Armaments, and then play the Swarp Boomerang. Okay. Yeah, only taking three damage that way. Mm -hmm. Another 50 uh, here. I think I'll play as much as I can to avoid the Regret dealing too much damage. Swarp Boomerang. Uh, actually, let's Headbutt the Swarp Boomerang again. That does deal a lot of damage going forward. And then I'll Headbutt another Headbutt. How about that? Mm-hmm. Let's do Brutality, and then I don't think I'll do Shrug it off. Well, it'll give me a headbutt, fine. Okay. 60. Um, let's do Thunderclap, Sword Boomerang. And then Cleave. That's enough to be fully defended. And then one more turn. Now, unfortunately, the enemy is not weakened or vulnerable. So this might be a challenge. Let's see what the Jackal Traits gives me. Sadistic Nature sets the armaments to zero. Very nice. I can upgrade, uh, what, Sever Soul? Okay. Then play that. Let's do Anger first and Sever Soul. Okay. And then, um, yeah, let's do Swarp and Rang. I unfortunately will take a little bit of damage here, but that's fine. Yeah, total lost uh, 6 HP throughout this fight, which is okay. Bloodletting Twin Strike, Shrug it off, or Sentinel. I, I see if I didn't remove that Shrug it off, I would have had a Collector Mars on that already. Let's hope one of these question mark, room, uh, question mark rooms will be a shop. That would be nice. Uh, all right, get rid of the Curses. Mm-hmm. And then do Swarp Boomerang, Anger, and let's headbutt another Swarp Boomerang. And you know what? Let's, let me use the Ancient Push because I don't think I really need it against the, um, against the boss. Okay. And then here, I think I'll do Second Wind or Sever Soul. Uh, here, let's do Rage, Pummel. Okay, then Swarp Boomerang. And there's a limit break that unfortunately... Uh, hmm, Sever Second Wind is also tough. Let's do Iron Wave. And I guess that's it. Okay. Taking some damage there. I have a lot of max HP, so I'm probably overly worried about taking damage. Let's do uppercut. Um, I guess ghostly armor, armaments. Uh, no, it's fine. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Just need seven damage. That should be very doable. Okay. All right. Didn't take too much. Uh, lose too much HP there. We've got a block push and headbutt, twin strike, wild strike, or metallic size. I have five headbutts or four headbutts already. So let's not take that. How many wild strikes did I have? Oh, just one? Yeah, fine. Let's take a... S Actually, Metalsis might be good against the boss. Let's take that. Okay. Removal Curse as well. Given that I'm going for the Curse Modifier, I don't think I can do that. And I just need one more card also to um, get the Insigibidia Modifier. Get rid of... Um, don't have any more Curses coming up. Yeah, I think I'll just do... Second one is useless, right? Let's get rid of that as well. Okay. All right. Then do Spot Weakness, Thunderclap, Sword Boomerang. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I didn't realize how much it would be. And I can just kill here everything. Good. Okay. Evolve, Body Slam, Perfect the Strike, or Clash. I I don't think I'll take the Clash. 
I do need to take some card. Let's take the body stomp. Sometimes I have a lot of block, but not that often. I don't need another relic. Um, do I need to upgrade anything? I mean, not really. Nothing is super important to be upgraded. Yeah, sure. Let's see what the other relic gives me. In Chaco, every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy. Not bad. Okay. All right, I do want to drink the power potion first. I feel like I might need it. Let's check when the normalities are coming up. Unfortunately, not anytime soon. Maybe I just don't do anything. Let's drink the power potion first. Corruption is really good. Feel no pain might be good too, but I need a corruption. Well, I only needed one. I got two, but fine. And then I think I'll just do Thunderclap and Cleave. Okay. Not a bad start. I have lots of card draw next turn. Oof. 45. That is, uh, that is a lot. Let me see. So, Uppercut will apply weakness. Seems like a good idea. I'd also like to do Metallicize. Let's do Metallicize first. That hits the Pummel. Let's do Uppercut. Okay, brings it down to 33. It's still quite a lot. And I don't... Well, I have 24. Plus 10 is 34. I need 33. Um, yeah, why don't I just do that? I don't see another way. And this way... Oof, there's a Disarm. Okay, that's too tempting. Let's play the Disarm. I don't think I need another Ghostly Armor. Let's do Pummel. Can I play four more cards here? Because if I can't, I'll be in trouble. Let's do Ghostly Armor. Okay, I can do Clash. No, no, I can only play two cards. Clash and Thunderclap, right? That's a shame. No, I'd rather play three cards next turn. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, 18 plus two. Uh, that is unfortunate. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Unless Jack of All Trades gives me something amazing. It did not. Yeah. Let me reload and see if there's anything different I could have done. Because mostly I think I think I just missed something small that I think I might have been able to do better with. I still think I should drink the power potion at the beginning. I did not discard anything, right? Yeah, let's get the corruption. Okay. And then I still think I should play two cards here. Nothing to headbutt, right? Yeah, let's just do Thunderclap Cleave. I think this is fine. Okay. So maybe I think next turn I should try to figure out a way to not use the block potion if I can. So still try metal size, then uppercut. Should I just rely? You know what? I always can use the block potion. Let's just here, let's do go see armor. This arm is really good, yeah. Okay, so far, wait, I have 24, I need 27. Let me see if the pummel gives me anything nice. Um Go see armor. Yeah, that's 24. I need 27 though, right? So I still... Oh, should I? I should have upgraded things. Okay, let me try one more time. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, because I used the upgrade potion at the right time, I was able to get exactly 27 blocks. So now I have the block potion, which I think is definitely necessary here. Let me drink that right away. Um, I will still play the Jack of All Trades. I don't think I'll do Mayhem. Um, I, I guess I can just do... Yeah, let's deal damage for Boomerang and Cleave. How about that? Okay. All right, so I'm still fully defended, thanks to... Um, well, I guess it's cheating because I had to reload to know exactly when I was going to throw the potion, but it's still, I think that was, that was good that I did that. Let's do the disarm here, and then War Cry is not going give to me, give me back anything good. Next turn, I have Normality, no block. I think I will do Shrug It Off, and then um, Havoc will play the Rage, which I don't think is necessary. Let's do War Cry, and I'll put the Intimidate back. Okay. All right. Okay, 39. That is a lot. Um, and I have the normality, right? Which I can't get rid of. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do. Let me see what the ghostly armor gives me. Berserk is not going to help. Intimidate will bring this down to 29. Still not going to help. The best I can do defensively is to play the armaments. It's 18. Yeah, unfortunately, if I had the iron wave, that would be 25. So even that would not have been enough. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to perfect this one, unfortunately. All right, 15. Let's do another disarm. Then uh, Shockwave, uh, one more Disarm for good measure. Ooh, Barricade is very tempting. Let's do Barricade, and then I'll do Upgrade Everything and play the Shrug It Off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, Stone Calendar will also start dealing damage very soon. How am I doing on time? 48 minutes. Okay, I did miss the one-hour mark, or the 45-minute mark. Let's do Iron Wave and Anger. Okay. All right, there was the uh, Stone Calendar. The enemy will not yet transform. I think it'll transform next turn. Um, ooh, Entrench is really good here. Let's do Spot Weakness, uh, Rage, then Hemokinesis. Okay. Let's do Iron Wave, Bloodletting. Okay. Then Bludgeon. I can get rid of Sentinel for energy. 
And then uh, Infernal Blade. Yeah, let's do Entrench here. And I'll do Second Wind. Actually, I don't think I'll need the Disarm. Let's do Second Wind. Okay, that way I'll also hang on to a lot of block thanks to the... Um... Ooh, if I, get a, uh, if I get a Body Slam now, I'll be able to get the Overkill modifier, right? Especially because the enemy's weakened. Do I have a Body Slam coming up? Uh, there is one coming up, but it's going to take a while. I think I'll wait. I think it's worth the wait. Yeah, I have the Bitter Cat active too, right? And I already missed the 45 minute mark, so there's no huge rush. Let's do Brutality. I will do Power Through. And then for extra card draw, let's just do the Iron Wave next turn. Okay, unfortunately, the enemy won't be vulnerable in turn I have the Body Slime. But still, I think I should have enough block. Alright, so Havoc is going to play a Perfected Strike. Um, can I get through the Power Through somehow? Uh, let's do... Wait, when is the body slam is coming up next turn? Okay, so let's do disarm. Upgrade the, um, I don't know, Havoc, sure. Doesn't really matter, sure. And then I can do Feel No Pain, play the Havoc. All right, and then you want, let's transform here. Right, I should be able to play four cards. Uh, wait, can I play four cards? Yeah, I should be able to. Another disarm is great. And then Thunderclap, okay. So next turn, I should be able to get the Overkill modifier with the Body Slam. I'm glad I saw that, or I remember that. The only thing that was possible... I mean, Dead Branch made it really possible, right? Yeah, 140, and then another 140. Awesome. Okay, so I was able to get com uh, Combo and Overkill. Uh, unfortunately, missed that boss, though. Nothing I could have done. 1427, that's not too bad, but yeah. Another another 100 points would have been possible if I gotten lucky. It's a lot of modifiers. Okay, so I was able to get Curses. Four Perfected Elites out of the seven possible. That's eh, fine, not amazing. Two of the three bosses, Overkill Combo. Popper was fairly doable. I'm glad I went for that. Only had three collector bonuses. Missed one in the sh uh, missed one on the shrug it off. Actually, I was close to a few others. Right, I I needed one more for the armaments, and I have headbutt and anger, and iron wave. Those are the three I have, and then needed one more for shrug uh, sword and rank. Okay, I thought I I was closer to more, but no, this is fine. I like shiny, barely doable, and then raining money. Okay. Barely path to 2000 my Mr. Machine. Yeah, I got a lot of extra modifiers too. I'm very happy with that. Let's see where then the rank is. Theoretically, getting lucky on the last boss, 1527 would have been possible. 1527 would have put me almost tied with Warpal. Unfortunately, I'm uh yeah, 100 points less, so at an 18th place, which is not too bad. I'm not complaining, but yeah, I can definitely see Warpal. I mean, first of all, it would be very impressive if Warpal was able to do the same thing that I did and was still able to perfect the boss because I got a lot of extra modifiers. Um, I wonder if maybe Warpal was able to get more collector bonuses instead, or just perfected more elites. That would have also been a possibility. But yeah, very happy with the score. Let me know in the comments what you did. If you went for a similar strategy, I guess, let me review the sealed deck again, just to see if there are some other synergy I missed. I definitely relied on disarms that helped me a lot to perfect things. Um, there's not much that you can do with strength, and I don't think the perfected strike strategy would have worked either. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm happy with what I went for, which is mostly disarm deck. But let me know in the comments if you went for a different strategy. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.